for a sand, so we're gonna make sure you have posh stuff today. By the way, I know we haven't we didn't promote it in our Nathan Drake video, but I believe that goes up the week of Extra Life, whereas this goes up as soon as possible. See, look. Oh yeah. So when you die, you can request for help. And Samus will come here. Samus, huh? Her name is Olympia Vale. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Don't it's listen. Not mine. You're mine. <laughs> I, you do I know that all the game I worlds are linked together somehow, right? Yeah, yeah that, like that after whole... Mass, after Mass Effect, it's Halo? Yeah, that, no, that blew that. my mind away. You just really like your turrets right now. Yeah, I haven't played this level this way. I, I could see Bronson playing as a heavy that class exists. Yeah. I, I did play the heavy in Team Fortress 2. Yeah, because you're like all charge in with big guns and I'm... Like, yeah, I'd rather stay back here and not get shot at. Thank That's you. That's me. <laughs> I am heavy weapons guy. Yeah. You're the tank. Well, you kind of do need that, yeah. The tank, yes. Totally. Yeah. Who's the tank with some engine? Yes, someone's seen that video. <laughs> oh, now this is an engine. The, the, the engine cutscenes look gorgeous. I know. Well, they dumped a lot of money and time into it, so it has to. I love or how like, like, I, love, I love how like this main bad guy from the novels and from Spartan Ops on Halo Four just gets iced in this cutscene. Like that guy right there, that elite is like one of the big leaders of the fucking crazy Covenant zealots, and like was the main villain of Spartan Ops, and they're about to ice him right now. Do I remember Dr. Halsey being that? Yeah, she's always been kind of a frigid bitch, but she's more of a frigid bitch now. Frigid. I see as hell. Ooh. Does it actually take the gun that you currently have and do that? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Yeah, oh, it'd be a yeah. total badass. She is my favorite person on Team Osiris. So that's another big thing about this game. There, you play, you play your missions as Team Osiris, which is Locke, Vale, um, God, Locke, Vale, Buck, and I forgot the last one. The other gal. And then the other one is Chief Kelly. Um, God, it was Chief Kelly. I'm forgetting the other two, but they're like. I'm good at this. <laughs> I, I was just like, said, I was, you know what? Five out of eight isn't too what bad. Took you long enough. <laughs> I, I know I'm being a little picky when I say this, but I think that it's like it's kind of cool when you do all that stuff and take out five enemies all at once and look badass. The problem is if you put too much motion behind it, it looks like you're kind of being a little pompous about your ability. Mm -hmm. It's like super motion five sword twirls to execute one action kind of. Stuff. That almost oof, that almost looks like there. It's close. Yeah. Sci-fi! Sci-fi is so cool. Yeah. But I also at the same time they're elite Spartans, so I'm like, yeah, they're Palmer and Lasky from Halo 4 slash Halo Spartan Ops. I really need to get caught up on the Halo books. Like I'm like three books behind at this point. Oh. Oh, was that guy again? Him? That's last key. Oh, when did she lose her arm? Spartan Ops. What do you think that's about? Their faces do look really good. Yeah, they definitely don't look creepy like in Halo 4. It's not Uncanny Valley anymore. They finally crossed the threshold. They're like, good, we can make their faces a part of the Halo art instead of this weird... Halfway point. Sub Master Chief. Life really really that's that's the uncanny valley. Yeah. Sub Master Chief. They refuse to show his face still. Well, it's iconic at this point. Yeah. All we know is he has blue eyes. 
So that leads us to believe. Does he have blonde hair, guys? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> he is Hitler's dream, Aryan super race. Yeah. <laughs> I would not. Call Frederick, him. that's the other one. So it's, know Frederick, that it's, so it's Frederick and John, right? Frederick, John, Kelly, and then the last one. Kelly? Yeah. Who's Kelly? She's one of those Spartans on blue team. Okay. So with Master Chief, so with the Chief then? Yeah. Blue Team is, is a group of Spartan 2s that have been doing missions for ever, basically. Like, Yeah, their armor definitely looks more worn out. Yeah. Than the fancy, shiny, squeaky clean. Is the other one the Elite Spartan group, was it? Or Spartan, Spartan 3 slash 4. Yeah. Oh yeah, I just like gone through like a bajillion missions or something. That particular like if that's the like if that's the last armor set Cortana upgraded, then that is technically the armor from Halo Two. Yeah. I love how for Blue Team they they don't play the new music; they play the old music. Yeah. I mean, they took the stuff from Halo Two. They're using nostalgia factor. Do you get to hang out with the Arbiter of this game? The Arbiter is totally in this game. In fact, the the I have seen the mission that we are allowed to show but haven't gotten to yet. Uh, the mission 8, he is in that mission. I love the Arbiter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the badass Goodbye. cinematography, guys. <laughs> and they didn't have to shoot. We just have to shoot the window. It's a little cheap. Ah, yes, the old-fashioned gun. Oh yeah, if you aim while jumping, you'll hover there for a little bit. That's kind of cool. That is cool. Oh my goodness, they give you the old HUD too. Yep. yep. Cool. Game. The nostalgia factor. Like cheap is for all the all the old fans. Yeah, I can imagine this. Oh, are you team lock or team cheap? I was very much Team Locke because, like, I like Master Chief, but I feel like his adventure was done after 3. I feel like his adventure was done at 3, too. Yeah. But, but then, money! But then 4 <laughs> happened, and you're like, dude, you are just a shell of a man. And then after all of 4, and the newer and the newer comics and books, it's just like, you are not a person anymore. You are just, you are literally a killbot. That made me laugh. <laughs> what do you say? Target is down. Lost it's just a grunt. <laughs> yeah. Shotgun. These guys always sounded funny. They always did. They always yeah. sounded funny. Yeah. Birthday party. Yeah, I don't have that. Yeah. I think it's I think it's a fantastic thing that they put in old, put the old HUD in here. That's really cool. I don't wanna die. I wonder what they're gonna come up with after Halo Six because they called this uh, in the, Halo the, Four the Reclaimer Trilogy. Reclaimer Trilogy, which I almost wanted to say, man, that just sounded like cliched fantasy all over again. But. Maybe they can go for, like, I don't know, like having folks. adventures in the world. I mean, that's what... Expand it. Like, they can focus on Locke. Yeah. Like, like they can focus... Just stop focusing on Chief. Like, Chief is money. Like maybe put some, like, <laughs> references to Chief. Right? Yeah. Chief, You can expand it and have is, other stories that take place in the world the without thing focusing is, is that, on Master Chief. Is that Chief is like worth a lot of money, That's and thing. also Chief is the face of like Halo and Xbox. Well, what they could do is like do something with Spartan Lock, where they like they find Chief's gun, like is the gun Chief uses, and be like, huh, this brings back memories. It's like little Easter eggs. Yeah. 
I don't know. What about having more missions where you follow like the Arbiter? Have, yeah, an Arbiter game would be sick. Like that would be really yeah. cool. Like after watching yeah. the uh, after watching all those Halo Two terminals last year when the Anniversary Edition came out, I was like, I want a game about the Arbiter, please. I want a game about the Arbiter. Oh, how about this? Make Red vs. Blue Cannon and make it a game. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing would ever get done though, except you'd have really good grenade throws. You would have real like. Can we look out the window? Yeah. Hey, thank you. Oh, see the little detail tells you how many shots you have. Oh, that's cool. The future will tell you when you're about to run out of ammo. And that's actually part of the HUD. That's not the gun. Like their HUDs are just set up like that. Oh, that's cool. Soccer upgrades. I feel like even though Chief is the face of Halo, I think they could get money if they did a game about the Arbiter. They could. They they've proven they could do a really good game without Chief. It was Halo Reach? Reach? Like he was he was in it as literally an Easter egg. Like you. Yeah, let's switch this. I want to see how SMG is. Oh yeah. Hold on. What about the way people? That was Bungie though. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, Bungie has completely fallen apart. Yeah. Like, whoa! Contact. Contact, guys. Chill. Ooh, this gun, I like this gun. I like this gun a lot. Wait, what did you just say earlier before you went through the wall? Bungie, after that whole yeah. falling apart. Like, they well, just... Compo like, it's kind of ridiculous. They fired their composer, and then a giant lawsuit happened, and... And then, like, now this Destiny DLC stuff, like... After, like, that game after Taking King, from what I have heard from everyone, is, like, I keep hearing Taking King is incredible, but I, and I, and I'm going to get it at one point, but I'm so iffy on it just because of, like, the, the culture of that company. Mega Corp, I sucked the soul out of Bungie again. Yeah, like, Bungie was, like... Who didn't see that coming after you heard, oh, Bungie has a 10-year publishing deal with Activision? Well, like, because you had the guys there who worked with uh, Microsoft, who everyone thought was going to suck the life out of them, and they didn't. didn't. They didn't. Bungie had a very, like... In fact, Bungie had their own building. It actually kind of pissed off a lot of people at Microsoft. Uh, like, Bungie had their own building that only they could get into, and, like... The highest of Microsoft guys like Balmer and Gates. Yeah. You know, like they they were they were treated very well there, and like Activision took over, and it's just like, well, it's not that Destiny's a bad game, it's not, especially now. Like after all the. It was a mediocre game when it first came out. But... Yeah, like, like, like I said, it was a one-year beta. That you paid a lot of money for. Yeah, like. Hell yeah, like if you if you paid sixty dollars for that Taking King edition, like right now, then yeah, that's awesome. But if you're like most people, where you got it on launch and went through all the updates and all that, hell yeah. Good. Hell yeah. Nice. Um. Oh. Snow <laughs> um, there is an achievement in this game for beating the game on uh, Legendary with uh, Solo. So, yeah, they did the Halo Reach thing where it's like, yeah, there's the Legendary run co-op, and then there's the Legendary run Solo. I don't really feel this game is definitely designed more around co-op, even though I've been playing it solo. Yeah, when you have like teammates just kind of coming around with you, so. But yeah, they designed I feel it. Like this game would be fun with co -op. Yeah, like you just need to convince your friends to buy an Xbox One. That's not that hard. I need to convince myself to buy an Xbox One. Yeah, like with PS4 around, it's hard. Especially now that it's fifty dollars cheaper. And Uncharted and Bloodborne, like and next year. Like next year for for uh, PlayStation is so strong. Like we got a price cut, and now we got all of our games coming. What have you got, Xbox? Like like so your move. Like while well, the Xbox is doing its move this year, it's just that the issue is the press conference is like Xbox One and Windows Ten because Xbox is now like becoming a brand, not just a game system. It has the little app on Windows Ten. They're looking 
looking towards the future. 